Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi and welcome you all in Cognos Report Studio tutorial series. And in this video we are going to learn about IBM Cognos Connection. Now the first question is what is IBM Cognos Connection? IBM Cognos Connection is a web-based user interface to access all the installed services in your IBM Cognos BI environment. So for using IBM Cognos Connection, you can access all the available report studio. You can create reports, you can run reports, you can schedule reports, you can access admin panel to, con con to control all the available services. Now, how to access Cognos Connection? You can get the IBM Cognos Connection link from your administrator. Once you got the link, you have to open the link in your web portal. If single sign on authentication is enabled then you have to pro you have to enter your username and password to access IBM Cognos connection assuming you have proper privileges to access IBM Cognos connection or your or given user is have proper privileges to access Cognos connection once you successful logged in your web portal then this is the welcome window from here you can select your required operation for this video we are going to click on my home and this is the main area from where you can start working on other stuff so let me show you all the available features in IBM Cognos connection let's start with username here is your username or currently locked in username next is long off button you can click on this if you want or if you want to leave your web session then next thing is the refresh button you can refresh your page by clicking this this is search box you can search anything in IBM Cognos in I in the content of IBM Cognos connection next icon is home icon this is used to let's say if you are some other place and if you want to go back on home then you can click on this so this is my home page let's say I am inside let okay, I'm here and I want to go home then you can click on public folder or home this icon always show the area which you set as a home page so let's say I set this as a home page then every time if I'm going to click on this it will redirect to my last or last saved or last set view as a home page but this always bring you to the default home page okay no issue so let me rechange my home page to default next is your preference setting you can change the preference from my preference or active and schedules you can launch all the available report studio from this launch button right now only report studio is installed in my machine so I am able to access only report studio you can also see the features based on the your privileges so let's say you are an administrator then you can able to see all the available option in this or all the available services in your IBM BI Cognos environment if you are a let's say assume you are a professional author then you are able to access only Cognos connection query studio and report studio assume you are a business manager then you can able to access only Cognos connection and metric studio and if you are a customer or a, you are an end user customer or business user then you are able to access only Cognos connection using Cognos connection you can run report and view the reports the next thing is the help icon if you want help anything then you can access the help or you can access the document or the installed document from here in IBM Cognos connection by default you can see two folders the public folder and my folder the contents of public folder is visible to everyone who have the proper access to see this and my folder you can save your personal stuff in your my folder so this content of the my folder is belongs to the specific user 
So let's say I have a user 1 and user 2. So user 1 is not able to see any contents of user 2 my folder and same for my uh, same for user 2. User 2 is not able to see the contents available in user 1's folder. You can change the sequence of this by modifying the sequence. You can also remove this but I don't want to change the sequence or uh, so let's let me show you how to change the sequence right now the default is public folder and my folder select the folder and click on down or up now my sequence is changed this is my my folder and public folder this is the toolbar from toolbar you can change the views so right now everything is the view is list view this is a list view you can change it to detail view and list view again you can create a new folder using this icon you can create a new F new package fm package by clicking this this is a new workplace icon new job new URL this icon for new page cut copy paste delete property we are going to explain each and every stuff or all this stuff in our future video for this video I want to show this is the icon for your FM package publish FM package this is your folders let me go inside our FM package and this is the icon for your reports the HTML is the default output of report you can run this report by clicking this or the play icon you can check the property or set the property of the report by clicking this you can open this report or this report using this triangle icon now let's say if I want to execute this then you have to click on this your report is now running It will take some time so we have to wait for few seconds or few minutes I hope it will not take more than one minute okay finally our execution is completed successfully you can go back by clicking this or you can click on home to go back but home this icon is always returned to your set set home page and this will going this will going to return on the place from where you can from the place where you can access this current report you can also execute this report by run with option now in this you can change the format of the report so if you want to run this report in PDF format then you can click on this and then you have to click on run report so let me run this and our report is running okay our execution is completed successfully and now this report is in PDF format you can save this report by clicking on this floppy disk click on this to return and if you want to edit this report then you have to select this report and click on this triangle box checking is not important or checking this checkbox is not important you have to select this triangle icon now next how to open report studio I am on public folder or I am the default location you can open report studio by click on launch and then select report studio if you are going to open the report studio by this method then you have to select the required package so let's say I want to use my go sales query fm package then you have to navigate there and then you have to select the fm package the alternative is click on cancel you can navigate in your required fm package and then simply click on report studio
have the package for this okay let me create a new report blank okay now the report studio is loading the content from your FM package let me cancel this and your FM package is available just here report package go sales query is your current FM package click on cancel and close in our next video we are going to show or we are going to explain every components available in report studio so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to click on subscribe and like button and see you guys in next report studio tutorial video